Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I recently posted a video in which I explained how to add a switch to an outlet. In that video, the entire outlet was powered through a switch. But it is also possible that only one of the two receptacles of the outlet are connected to a switch. That means one part of the outlet is always powered on and the other half is powered through a switch. And that is called a half hot outlet. In this outlet, the bottom receptacle is always powered on but the upper receptacle is powered through this switch. Take a look at this. This is on but this is off because this is powered through a switch. Now this is on. This receptacle will be on only when the switch is turned on. Let me test it with the lamp. I will show the entire wiring process on this dummy wall here. Stay tuned and watch the video until the end to see how I complete the project. So let's get started. This is an important caution. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. This is a Leviton Decora style outlet that I am going to use for today's project. If you have this type of traditional outlet in your home, the process would be similar. On the right side, where you have the smaller slot, you will see two brass terminals. This is where we connect the hot wire. And on the left side, we have two silver terminals. This is where we connect the white neutral wire. And we have a green ground screw here, where we connect the ground wire. In case you want to use the traditional outlet, the process would be similar. This one also has two brass screws, which are connected to each other. And we connect the black hot wire here. And on the left side, we have two silver screws, where we connect the white neutral wire. They are also connected to each other. This type of outlet is known as a duplex outlet because we have two receptacles here. We can connect the entire outlet to a switch. And that's what I showed you in my previous video. I will provide the link in the description. So either the entire outlet can be switched on or off or only one of these two receptacles can be switched on or off. And that is called a half hot outlet. What I have to do is to break this strip which connects two brass terminals. And it is easy. Take a long nose plier, hold this strip and twist it back and forth a couple of times and it will break. Now these two terminals are separated. So what I will do is connect the bottom terminal directly to the hot wire but route the upper terminal through a switch. I don't have to do anything on the neutral side. I will keep these two silver terminals as is. I have a 14-2 wire here which brings in power to the outlet box. From the outlet box, I have a 14-3 wire which goes to this switch box. This 14-2 wire is bringing in power to the outlet box and I am using a yellow label here marked N to distinguish between these two black wires. Now I know this black wire is line in and this black wire is from 14-3 which is going to the switch. On switch side, we only have one 14-3 wire. Here we have ground, the white neutral, black hot and a red wire. Safety first, we always start by making sure that there is no power in any of these wires. I will use my client tools voltage tester to check. Turn it on and I will keep it on lower sensitivity range. It did not beep, there is no power. So it is safe to proceed. Starting with ground wires, I will use a small pigtail to make the ground connection of the outlet. Now I have one ground pigtail from the metal outlet box, one bare copper ground wire from the incoming 14-2 wire, one bare copper ground wire from the 14-3 wire which is going to the switch. So in total I have four ground wire that I need to connect. I will use a 5-pin Vago 11 nut connector to connect all ground wires. Only four of these five pins will be connected. So I'll keep this out and push all the ground wires inside the box. I will use a three pin Vago 11 nut connector to connect all white neutral wires. White neutral from the incoming 14-2 wire. White neutral from the 14-3 wire which will go to the switch. And a small white pigtail which I will connect to the outlet. 
I will keep this white out and push all others into the box. I will connect this white pigtail to one of these silver screws. Next I will use a 3 pin Vago Lavernet connector to connect black hot wires. This black hot wire is coming from the 14 2 wire which is bringing in power to the outlet box. This black hot wire is from the 14 3 which is taking the power to the switch and, and a small pigtail. I will connect this black pigtail to the lower part of the outlet and this will always remain hot. Next I will connect this red wire from the 14 3 to the upper terminal of the outlet. So once again on this side white pigtail is connected to one of the silver terminals of the outlet and it is further connected to other white neutrals using a 3 pin Vago Lavernet connector. On this side I am using a black pigtail on the bottom half of the outlet. It goes to this 3 pin Vago Lavernet connector and in this connector we have the incoming black hot wire. So the bottom part of the outlet will always be hot. And the red wire from the 14-3 is connected to the upper brass terminal. This will bring in power through the switch. So this part of the outlet will be on only when the switch is turned on. I can now push these wires inside the box. I will now connect the switch on this side. First I will use a 3 pin Vago Lavernet connector to connect all ground wires. Ground from the 14-3 wire. Ground pigtail which is connected to the metal outlet box and the ground pigtail from the switch. On the back side I will make sure that all wires are pushed all the way up to the top so that the connection is good. I will now push these ground wires into the box. The inductor wire is not connected. It is left here as is for future use. Someone may want to use a smart switch tomorrow and that switch may need a white neutral wire. I will just cover the white neutral wire with a 2 pin Vago lever nut connector and push it inside the box. Now these two wires can be connected anywhere. You can connect black here and red here or red here or black here doesn't matter because the black wire is bringing the power in. I will keep that at bottom. You can also make a small loop, wrap the wire around the screw and then tighten the screw. I am using black tape here to wrap the terminals to make sure that the hot wire doesn't touch the metal box or the ground wire. I will push these wires into the box and tighten the screws. I will now turn on power and test the outlet. Power is on. I will use my client tools receptacle tester or outlet tester to check the connections. These two orange lights indicate that the connections are good. There is no light here that means this part of the outlet is off. Turn it on from here and we have power now. Next I will check that these two receptacles are working independently. So I will check with this bulb here. Bulb is off because the switch is off. Turn on the switch and it is on. Both receptacles are working independently. The bottom receptacle will always be powered on and the top one will be powered on only when the switch is turned on. I will place a small sticker here with S mark on it. That means this outlet is switched and this outlet is always on. So this is how we do the wiring of a half hot outlet in which one receptacle is always on and the other one is through a switch. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I hope the video is helpful. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. There are several other similar DIY videos on my channel. That's all for today. 
i will see you next time until then please take care